Hello YouTubes! Welcome back Haunt Fam. Today we have an unboxing and demo from Spider Hill Prop Works. Very cool stuff. Okay Haunt Fam, so if you don't have PVC and pool noodles in stock, you're on the wrong damn channel. The PVC is our important point today though, and that's why I've got the Spider Hill Prop Works. Let's get into that box. Okay, so Spider Hill. PVC, they manufacture PVC parts, flexible joints, which is very important to us haunters who do full-size props or if you want to make a full-size prop. So we'll show you one today. Okay, so, little tape there. Okay, so, paper don't need that. Oh cool, they got us boxed up in a little baggie so all our parts are uh, in one piece in case something happens where box gets busted open in the mail and spilled out and you get an empty box delivered to your house saying, oh sorry about your mess. Okay, so we got a little uh, Spider Hill Prop Works Specialty Props for Haunters. Very cool. And then they've got some uh, info on the back and I will go ahead and I will link Spider Hill below so you guys can go check out their stuff for yourself. They make complete kits for doing a 1-1 scale body, so if you want to build a full-size prop out of PVC, then bulk out with pool noodles, you know how we do. Um, they've got kits for that, which is pretty awesome. Oh, cool, a little sticker. I'll have to put that inside the cabinet with the rest of my haunt gear. Spider Hill, very cool. Uh, they've been around for a number of years, and so I don't know why I haven't done a video on them before, so... Okay, here is our invoice, which we don't care about. So, here's our box. This is what we do care about. Okay, so... Let's see our pieces. So, Spider Hill actually manufactures bases for one inch PVC. So, most of my full size scales, like Mortimer, my Grave Digger, uh, my Witch, uh, even my Headless Horseman, is all bulked out in one inch PVC. So, take your one inch PVC. Oh, look at that. Fits like a glove. And you got screws in the bottom that you can go ahead and screw right down to a base. Now, there's one difference though. This is actual plastic, this is not PVC. So you cannot glue it with, uh, and fuse it together with PVC glue, it won't work. So you just gotta run a uh, screw through. Or if you got a real tight fit, you can just tap your joint into place, you know. Um, so I've got a bunch of spaces. I mean, you could use these up against the wall, behind a tombstone, you could use them as character feet. Um, nobody makes these except for Spider Hill that I've seen. So these are a great addition to haunters if you're trying to mount your props or make one one scale stuff. So I've got four, how many did I get? One, two, three, four. Five of those. Okay. So we're those guys for now. And what else we got in the bag? Okay. Here's the meat of the prop. And did I get my little wrenchy thing in there? Okay, I did. Okay, so here's the important the important part and one of my favorite pieces about Spider Hill. So we have a one-inch joint here, and that's flexible. Okay, YouTube, so I've got a nut driver and I've got our plastic spider hill joint. Why is this important? Because we can take the, ninth, the 7 16 nut driver, put it right in, and we have a little ratcheting action for our joint, and we can lock it down in any direction we want. So we crank it down, and now we have a joint that we can reposition at any time, and you can spin, turn, you want those little grooves in the top to make your arms or legs or whatever, kneecaps twist and turn, and then we run our little set screws through. Does this look familiar? <coughs> Okay, YouTube, so Spider Hill was nice enough to include a baggie of uh, Phillips self tapping screws so we can tap into all this PVC. I went ahead and grabbed another piece of that birch plywood uh, panel that I bought at Menards like a while ago, so I've got plenty. So I've got two of the bases for feet. I just want to stick them out anywhere. Then we can take a screw and drive it right in through the PVC. Okay, YouTube, so I've got our base flanges screwed into this uh, plywood. Uh, I got one screw in, so they still kind of move a little bit. I can jock him around where I need to be because I want to go put some hips on this uh, guy. I want to build a mummy eventually, so I'm going to use this demo as, a, as sort of a dry run to do my mummy. Now, I don't really want so much movement in the legs, but I want in the upper chest, I want to be able to articulate the arms. So, I want to make this guy about eh, five and a half, maybe 
five, eight feet tall. So if I think of his hips land here, that's probably about perfect. So I'm gonna cut another one of these guys and then uh, get my regular plastic PVC joints out and we'll put some hips on this guy in a spine. So I'll cut one more of these. Okay. All right, nice and sturdy, nice tight fit. So, so far so good. Here's our regular PVC joints. Okay, and I think we'll give him just a single spine. So I'll get some more pieces cut, we'll put the spine in. Okay. Shoulder pieces are five and a half inches. If you guys want to make the exact same size I've got. I like how Diablo does his when he's making a, a PVC project. He usually writes the number of the inches on the pipe he cuts. If you guys want to use exact specifications, I'll show those to you later. But uh, for now, they're written on here. So uh, let's do some shoulders. So go ahead and put some 90s for the shoulders for now. Forearms. Okay, YouTubes. So I've got a seven inch bicep cut. Get that in there. And I've got an eight inch forearm cut. I just wanted to go a little bit longer than the bicep. And here's the beauty of the Spider Hill props. We can go beyond a standard 45 degree angle, which with PVC you're stuck. Well, with this, you can go beyond. So that's the awesome part of Spider Hill props. So I've got, uh, we'll make these as elbows. This will be his forearm. And you can twist and articulate his arms or anything any way you want by still using a PVC joint up here. Um, you could also easily swap out the spine and do a PVC joint if you want your creature to hunch over, which is great. And I think these guys are like four or five dollars a piece, it's something ridiculous. That whole box is like 30 some dollars. They actually make a whole character kit, which I will link below. You guys can go look at Spider Hill and see if they've got something that you can use for your haunt. So, uh, like I said, I love these hands and arms. I got a little six inch neck stub for them. We'll pop that on. So you can basically put whatever head you want on. Uh, but yeah, I think these are creepy cool. And we'll just go ahead and run a screw through. I'll get his other arm on, articulate, drop some kind of meantime hands on there to show you guys. And uh, we'll take a look at them. All right, guys, just some cheapo spare Halloween hands. I think these were 10 bucks, I think. And uh, we got us a mummy. I got a Nightmare Maker skull on there. Just blasted an inch and an eighth hole with an auger bit through it. So uh, our guy's complete, man. I think he's awesome. I could always add some more joints if I want him to be stooped over. Uh, we can run the screws through. Nothing's glued. Like I said, you cannot glue these. These are plastic, not PVC plastic, so they will not fuse. So they were nice enough to give us screws uh, to go ahead and clock in any position you want and then lock them down. And another nice feature they have is if you don't want to deal with the nut driver, and maybe you're kind of just put, positioning your guy, trying to get him in a shape and figure out how you want them, they make a nice little piece that's a little thumb screw. So and you just take the nut off, you can push your joint wherever you want it, and then you can lock it down like this, maybe put it to the inside. So if you want to play with them for a little bit, you can clock your guys, lock them down temporarily, run your screws through, then pull this out and then put your nut back on. So that's Spider Hill props, man. I think they're awesome. They make kits. Uh, we banged out a mummy in, I don't know, 45 minutes or something like that. He's all ready for padding and pool noodles and corpsing and everything else. You know, we've got a Nightmares Maker skull on. We've got some cheap $10 hands. You know, I think uh, the kit, these joints are three, four bucks a piece, something like that. So uh, I may add some more to them. I don't know. But it's a hell of a start. This is a great product I think all haunters should have, man. It's Spider Hill Props. Like I said, I'll link it below. You guys can go check it out and uh, see if they make something you could use for your haunt. And as always, guys, go check out my brothers in a trio of terror. I'm just one third. There's Vic over at Monster Misfits and Dave at the Weird Kids Show, guys. We're doing projects nonstop. It never ends for us. We're always putting something out there for you guys. So uh, that's Spider Hill, folks. I think it's an awesome product, man. I want to get some more. Uh, maybe do some bigger builds. And until uh, I see you guys again, man, keep it evil. Hey, who turned the lights out?